everybody welcome back another uh sledder over there i don't know what's going on with that guy uh just must be loving the snow so anyway iron man iron man iron man well he's gone now best gear best uh skills for this guy uh we did the gear tier list the other day i'm gonna put out these individual videos for each character so that uh someone if they want to stay a little bit more focused it's simpler for them and go through some of their abilities so if you're new to the channel check out the discord link in the description below hammer down like buttons notification bells all that sort of thing let me know in the comments below and or on the discord what you think could be better or adjusted on this i went to some pretty high-end uh in-game players to talk to them about it on what they've done a lot of testing shout out to my guy half uh, you know, he's done a ton of testing on this guy. So I feel like Iron Man's pretty dialed in at this point, but wanted to share this out there so that anybody who might be looking for something has something that might guide him a little bit, right? So let's check it out. There he is. Bring me Wolverthor. All right, so um, a key part to this, off to the right, I've got uh, my cute little spreadsheet that I've got the tier lists on. Uh, you know, I've got God tier, really good, solid, maybe man, just don't. That's the concepts behind it. We like to start with the specials so that we can get those covered. They pretty much cover everything in the regional and we'll go from there. So Iowa Cyrus uh, is Tactical Satellite and Jarvis. So Tactical Satellite is this uh, ability train here. Um, I, again, I main widow, so I'm going to be more generic about some of these, uh, fine. You know, like I don't see a lot of people doing this. Obviously that's why it says just don't, uh, you got this first ability here, uh, satellite support, uh, that gives you some alt gauge. There is a lot of people who do use this in group settings, hint, hint. So that could be something that evolves down the line. Uh, but it does have a pretty long cooldown and decent stam there. Now this one, the ion cannon, the 41 second cooldown yikes 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 uh it does hit for about 804k damage but you know uh anyway that or 804 percent that's just that the levels i've got so i'm not even gonna pay attention to that uh the next one party time protocol you do see some people actually using this uh again in dimension duel it does summon down a couple uh bots after a knockdown uh comes in and they are sort of annoying you can see there's attacking there uh, in Dimension Duel, though, you can sort of just run away from these if possible. So, uh, but you are seeing people use this uh, again. So maybe that Eyes of Cyrus, if this becomes a real thing, uh, sticks around. But again, very, very long cooldown uh, and a, a big chunk of stamina there. And then the satellite bombing uh, is probably the shortest cooldown of the bunch. Uh, it does do de it does decent uh, reduces guard damage received for 20 seconds. So I mean I know there's some people who don't love getting guard broke as uh, Iron Man. Maybe this is a way to do that. I don't know. Um, but again the ability there is not um, you know the stam and uh, cooldowns on it are not the greatest. So the next part now all of those were Jarvis. Every single one of these that we went through were Jarvis. So when you get the six points uh of tactical satellite with all those because of the second part that we've got in iowa cyrus jarvis the red that will also give an additional six so every one of those gets an additional six so we're also looking for the other jarvis ability in here uh we've got repulsor we've got missile cartridges uh missile cartridges uh anti-tank which is weapon car weapon cartridges i said missile cartridges i meant weapon cartridges um I mean, look at all those weapon cartridges, which is a preview to what we're going to have before. Here we go, Jarvis. So artificial intelligence here is the uh, next Jarvis ability we're going to look at. Uh, the ability that it's on right now, Speed Amp, is a critical one for Iron Man in game. Uh, again, it does have a long cooldown. And it does, doesn't have a lot of stamina, but it recovers a ton of cooldown for people. So for the good Iron Man in the game, what they do is they use a couple abilities, then they bust this out and then use those abilities again. Um, but no, like I said, the cooldown on this, granted, it does also affect this, uh, if I remember correctly. It's pretty solid, so you can get a couple rotations in. And this is why you hear a lot of Iron Man sort of complain uh, about how the character is not necessarily broken. Because if if someone they're facing in like a dimension duel is miss, like they avoid the first set of abilities, they use the speed amp, and then they avoid those next set of abilities again, Iron Man's sort of a sitting duck. 
So that's where you're going to hear a lot of Iron Man go, don't nerf me. This is a thing, you know, and so, and I get that aspect of it. So I can have some sensitivity. I do think some other things to be adjusted, but this ability here is really good. The other one they, they got in here, uh, weakness scan. You see some people use this. Um, it's got a long cooldown, but really short uh, stam. Does some damage, damage to nearby uh, enemies and increases attack. Mm, okay. Uh, not a not a great thing uh, necessarily. Some people do use it though. Uh, sleep mode. I don't see anybody ever use this. It does have really low stam. Um, uh, the cooldown's not super high. Does some nearby damage uh, and decreases stam consumption of all skills. All right, great. Um, artificial intelligence self repair mode. Uh, this is something that's a knockback. Again, uh, pretty long cooldown, uh, and and it recovers some guard gauge. I, I I think they should change this to um, make it so that uh, it's like a mini Ultron ability that if you use this, that it gives you some barrier. That's what I would like to do. See in this is that uh, there's because there's some talk that he doesn't have a lot of defensive abilities, right? So now that's all they've got for Ivor Cyrus. That's that's it, you know. And those abilities are okay, uh, not great. Again, there's some that are definitely used, but not anything super super amazing so rise of the east this is the god tier one uh it's because it's extra firepower and missile cartridges and it's all about this ability here which is the rage of anybody who's not a my iron man people hate this ability um and iron man will argue that they need this ability because of what i mentioned before about the uh needing to you know once you run out of your two rotations you're basically done Okay, and I can be sensitive to that. So I'd like to see the the whole picture adjusted. The problem that people rage about this is before this guy even does his animation right there, the damage is already registered on his opponents. So you, it's impossible to dodge. You have to guess when somebody's going to do this to dodge the ability. I don't like that. Uh, a lot of people don't. But Rise of the East is huge because this is also weapon cartridges. So you get the double bonus on it. And it's, it's an ability that has a situation where you have to pre-dodge. That's so a lot of Iron Man have Rise of the East and I get why. The other abilities in this tree, Missile Barrage, super short cooldown. Oh, and I should say Guided Missiles does have a really short cooldown um, and not a super high stam. So that's why you see that get used a lot. Uh, they lean heavily into Guided Missiles. Uh, missile Barrage, uh, again, it's you know low cooldown. You don't see that very often. This one, you're starting to see a little bit more uh, because of our guy. Uh, my buddy in, in uh, half is starting to use this a little bit in different game modes. So you're seeing a lot of other people use it as well. It's a pretty good ability, but it's a long cooldown and it takes a lot of stam. If they do this with their speed amp, you know, just avoid a couple and you're good. Uh, and then uh, the next one here is Incendiary Bomb. I don't see this used very much, but it does have a uh, flame damage on it. I don't know if that's the, I, I would think that's the same as burn. If it does and it can go AOE, holy cow, you get a Ghost Rider on that, do a mass AOE stun. That could be pretty nasty in a group setting, okay? Uh, other weapon cartridges. This skill set, Nanite Plasma, which is your spin blade. This is the other thing that's sort of um, in a lot of Iron Man's builds. Uh, the cool, the stamina for spin blade is really high. Uh, the cooldown is decently high, but again, with speed amp, it helps. The secondary tracking, it, this hits three times. The secondary track seems to be a little buggy, but this is definitely the ability that I'd say most Iron Men use. Sometimes it is easy to get out of the way. The ability seems to be a little bit bugged though. I, I, it's, it's kind of funky. Sometimes I can get away from it easy, sometimes I can't. This energy blade, nobody really uses it. It's like a, a, a baby spin blade. This one, uh, the laser cutter, I don't really ever see anybody use this. Uh, it does decrease, decrease defense by uh, 20 part for five seconds when the skill lands. This actually, I mean, defense pierce is a thing. I'd love to see this decreases PVP damage decrease. Yeah, so it decreases decrease, if that makes sense. I'd love to see this adjusted there because de defense pen, um everybody gets through that so this doesn't do anything so anybody uses it but i could see people using this if it was uh pvp damage decrease that it took down but then that wouldn't work for bosses so you know i don't know maybe it could be decreases boss defense um or decreases you know in a pvp setting it's pvp damage decrease i don't know that'd be something it's a question for a coder not for me battering ram um i don't really see anybody use this that often if ever to be honest it's got a really high car guard break uh yeah, I'm not, but in, you, you could use you could use this as part of the weapon cartridges situation. Uh, and then, uh, was it micro missiles? Yeah, micro missiles is the last one that they've got. Anti-tank, uh, you'll hear people talk about a little bit. 
uh, where it's just, it's from the movie, like where he uses the missile and shoots it. So I'm glad they put that in there. Short cooldown, not a bad ability. Uh, then you've got the chain split. Um, I don't ever see anybody use this ever. The missile explodes, you know, consecutively knocks people back. All right. It's definitely cool. It could be used. Uh, and then we've got napalm bomb. This is a burn situation. This is the one that's probably a little better with ghost rider. Uh, doesn't have a very long cooldown and not a lot of stam. So in an AOE situation, you get this to land, use Ghost Rider. You know, maybe that's another reason to have Rise of the East. Uh, but again, we're not seeing a lot of people use that. Uh, and then the last one we've got in here is EMP Shot. I do hear people talk about this. It does remove buffs. This is a good ability for those storm bubbles. If you've got uh, anybody that you're facing in a Dimension Duel uh, that's a storm that bubbles nonstop, have a quick build out that has this in it as well. Use this when they bubble, you'll be able to attack them and you're good to go. So bye bye bubble. Uh, this also worked pretty well in the uh, Eternals invasion as well to get Crow's uh, little bubble thing removed as well. So that's what we're looking for Rise of the East. Uh, we've also got to finish out the specials is Steampunk, which is Arc Energy and um, we've got uh, Repulsor Energy. So let's go to the Arc Energy first, which uh, this is abilities that you'll see a lot around. The Repulsor Charge, not a long cooldown, decent amount of stamina, just basically does some damage. The other ones in this tree are the Repulsor Blast, kind of the same, just does some damage, like cool. So it's going to be important to know whether these track or not. I think the first one I showed track, I don't remember for sure, uh, but I believe it does. If not, that's part of the problem with this. A Repulsor Shockwave jumps forward, hits back, does some damage, knocks people down. Uh, and then the last one is Repulsor Fire. Again, it's just Repulsor fire, firing a couple times. So uh, not a lot of people using this. Some folks say maybe PVE. I think that's why the Repulsor Charge, I think it does stay focused. It doesn't track. I think that's the reason that it is that way, if I remember correctly. Because at PVE, it's easier to focus down a boss. So that's your arc energy. And again, um, remember that this also has repulsor energy on it. So you get the 12 within this particular ability. Now, the other repulsor charges are, do, 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 let's see, micro was uh, weapons, unibeam. So the unibeam situation is where you'll get the um, additional uh, beef up uh, for steampunk here. Again, Unibeam, straightforward, uh, small cooldown, decent stam use, but it's high guard break, and it as stuns the enemy. But um, you know, look, watch how quick, like he's loading up there. So if it doesn't track, that's a problem. This could be a good one if they change this to a tracking ability, um, and it has a short range on it. That could be good for Dimension Duel for this guy as well, because that gives him some ability to actually stun someone. But if it doesn't, if it does not track. As soon as you see that, you're getting out of the way. So any good player will know that, but that could be a good dimension dual thing uh, for you right there. Uh, also in this tree uh, of anything repulsor energy, we've got the arc incineration. It's a unibeam again, damage pushes them back a little bit. Don't really care about the pushback, but okay, guard damage. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, unibeam spin. All right, I mean, it's, that takes too long. I don't, I don't know if I'd really like that. The cooldown is short though, but it's cool looking ability. And then uh, we've got the focal energy shot. You hear a lot of people using this. Um, uh, it does, it's a very, it's somewhat similar to the Captain Marvel ability where it loads up a little bit and it's got to hit in a straight line. Again, another reason why it's decent for PVE. Uh, I don't think this should track um, in my opinion at the moment, but it's got crazy eye stam and a long cooldown. So, but it hits really hard. So I, I get the trade off there. So those are the specials, you know, and when you kind of slide down into the other ones, uh, the the um, the regionals down here, again, it's very similar with uh, the Sa Savage Shadowlands Repulsor Energy, where it's kind of like, okay, uh, the Repulsor Energy situation where you're looking at, um, you know, anything that's sort of like, you know, this stuff that we're looking at, that is good for PVE. So maybe that's a good PVE set at some point. I don't know. Um, but Dark Domain, we are, it's a Repulsor Energy and Defense Pen. Uh, that was meh because, you know, like we talked about, you need to be, uh, focused forward and D-Pen is more of a PVP situation. So you're not really looking to dive into that. Uh, Sakar with Jarvis, that was given a just don't, you know, we gave those abilities, those abilities tend to lean more into the support situation. So you're probably not going to want to be doing anything like that. 
the Midgardia and the Hydra were the weapon cartridges where we got, you know, those great abilities here with the extra firepower slash guided missile stuff. Uh, the Nanite Plasma and uh, what was the other one? Micro Missiles. And, you know, so those are all good. You know, they're all really good. And depending what stat you need, crit rate or depend, will depend which gear set you go to. Um, you can get a lot of defensive penetration from, uh, you know, cards, things like that nature. Uh, and even... Um, uh, core slots. Granted, you can get that from crit rate, but there's not a lot of cards you can get crit rate on. I think there's two now. So that's why you see a lot of people lean more into Midgardia than the Hydra. Xander has that um, Repulsor Energy again, which is crit rate. Uh, I don't know. If I'm going to do Repulsor Energy, like maybe I guess I could do this, but I don't... I, I mean, you could see there that it's maybe PvE. All right. And then uh, New Stark City is the just don't. It's ultimate. You don't want to build Iron Man's ultimate up in this at all because, frankly, it's not really great in anything outside of PvE. So, uh, those are the gear setups. Those are the skill setups for Iron Man. Uh, again, he's I still argue he's the top character in the game because he's top three in all game modes, whereas some won't be, you know, in top, you know, Storm's like top in PvE, but unless you get like a, a bubble build situation where you're running around and bubbling a lot, it's kind of not really all that exciting. So, in PvP. So, let me know what you think. Any Iron Man out there disagree with what we got on here? Again, we talked to uh, some pretty strong players to look this stuff over. I think it's pretty solid. I uh, went through the abilities a little bit. Hopefully, this helps any Iron Man thinking about building them. Uh, check out the Discord link. I think I mentioned that. Tell your aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, grandma, and grandma. Anyway, I got to go sledding again, right? So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.